This video is a charity unboxing video. Make sure you stay tuned for the whole thing so you see what it's all about at the end. Make sure you donate either on the right hand side or the bottom if you're on mobile and check out where you can get this figure at the links in the description. Credits to Boats Can Fly for the artwork. Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven's Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It's Steven here, and welcome to another unboxing video. It's been a while since we've done a more so formal unboxing, and today I'm bringing you the latest SH Monster Arts figure. Kind of, sort of, not really. Uh, Jet Jaga released as well, as I'm adjusting to get myself in prime unboxing position here. Uh, yes, Jet Jaguar 2021 just released as well, but right now we have Godzilla 2004 from Final Wars. Great. So, uh, yeah, like I said, this just dropped. I finally have it in hand. Yay. And oh boy, we got ourselves a doozy here. Um, is it good? Is it bad? Somewhere in between. We're going to have to wait until the review for the verdict. Today is just the unboxing. Uh, Jet Jaguar is still currently in customs hell, but we shall see what the outcome is. But for Godzilla 2004 here, or most affectionately referred to as Ratzilla, He's made in Vietnam. Now, for those of you who are sort of familiar with Tamashii Nations overall, uh, you'll know that their Dragon Ball releases, some of them have been coming out of the Vietnam factory, and it seems like it's been a little bit, kind of sort of not really hit or miss um, for those figures. Some have had some significant quality control issues, most notably uh, Raditz, Raccoon, that uh, the shoulder joints have been a little bit of poo-poo, but then we've had some really good ones that have come out of the Vietnam factory with no quality control issues at all. Um, I'm thinking, I think there was one of the Bulmas that came out of the Vietnam factory, no issues. Uh, General Tao for me, no quality control issues. Uh, so it's kind of hit or miss. Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong came out of the Vietnam factory, and I'll leave that up to you. But enough talk, we have Godzilla 2004 here, and he has been long awaited. And it comes at a hefty price tag at a U.S. MSRP through what was formerly Bluefin Brands, yes, uh, at $95. Oh boy, yes, he should be arriving in the States relatively soon. But enough of that, let's go ahead and open him up. But first, a nice shot of the front of the box so this way you can see exactly what's going on here. All the nice branding from Bandai. Cool, we got the official Tamashii Nation seal of quality. We have the Godzilla trademark and copyright stuff. Flip it on over to the back, promotional pictures, legal mumbo jumbo here and there, but that's also going to be true for the bottom and the top of the box, where the top of the box is going to continue that slash mark that we have for the SH Monster Arts branding for boxes. The size of the box is pretty much going to be the same thing. Let me make sure I have my focus on here, and here we go. All right, it's the moment of truth. Here's the tape. As always, we're going to play a little bit of a game here, but we'll wait until we open it up. Oh, let me just, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice little bend there. Okie doke. There he is. Ratzilla in all his glory. Nothing else there. So, alley-oop. Here you go, Shell. Oh, it, I, whoop, I accidentally hit stop recording. Hold on. Here we go. Cancel that. We still want to record. Screw it. We'll do it live. Okay. Here's the game that we play with new SH Monster Arts Godzilla figures, okay? All right. So the game is... Is there any tape? What part falls off of Godzilla when Steven pulls him out of the tray. Pause the video now and drop it in the comment below. Let's continue. Let's go ahead. Hey! Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hey, we are at nothing. We are at nothing. All right, so that's a, that's a couple of Godzillas now from uh, the last couple releases. <laughs> So, what quality control issues have we had with this figure that we have seen uh, in the community so far? Mostly, um, there have been w there's been one reported issue of looseness in the torso. As I pop off the leg, but that's fine. 
That's that's not an issue. Um, one reported issue with the torso being loose, and then the other one stems in the head, where it looks like this eyebrow uh, seems to, for some reason, be a bit bigger than the other in a noticeable fashion. Not suit accurate ways, like somebody had such a large eyebrow, he looked like King K. Rool. All right, are you really going to do this to me? Oh, it's a little oily. Kind of looks like they put a lubricant on there to get him to move, which is fine. I'd rather have it pop off than break. Oh, eyes. <laughs> I can't wait to show you what he looks like up close and personal, but just moving him around. Um, is it money well spent? Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, that could have been disastrous. That's an interesting size ball joint. We don't get any effect parts. I don't know who sculpted it, but Shinichi Wakasa on uh, Instagram and Twitter has been rather fond of this particular figure. So, I think that's maybe hinting at something. Okay, folks. Well, like I said, this is the unboxing, not a full review. So we'll have to get to that review sooner rather than later. But in the interim... If you are watching this unboxing, oh, that means the review is actually finished. What? That is correct, folks. That means the review is finished. Because I can do things with the power of editing. Now, the point of this unboxing video is we can do this. We're doing another fundraiser to help out some rodents. And uh, unfortunately, the way that YouTube runs everything, uh, you have to have a pre-set up thing with the Google nonprofit account. And unfortunately, there was nothing benefiting directly rats. So guinea pigs, next best thing. So for this fundraiser, we are going to be supporting Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. And the way that we're gonna do that is, like I said, the review is already completed and uploaded to YouTube. So if we're able to hit $100 for this fundraiser, we'll go ahead and we'll upload and set live the review at 7 p.m. the day after it hits $100. Uh, the review, however, is going to be scheduled to go up on Friday the 13th at 7 p.m. So if you wanna see the review early, all we got to do is hit $100 for our charity, and we're going to be able to do that. The charity is already a 5013CBDWTF. Yep, it's already registered. That's how you are able to do a fundraiser through Google, and we are all set to go. Now, let's go ahead and sweeten that deal. If we're able to hit $150, like I made mention, the Jet Jaguar 2021 Singular Point Monster Arts is in transit. If we're able to hit $150, we will do a live unboxing stream of Jet Jaguar and do the recording of it as well. So this way we can get the unboxing video up. And if we hit 200, we'll go ahead and scrap the live unboxing and just do a live behind the scenes stream of the recording of the review. And the unboxing video will just go up as normal. And we're gonna have to hit that goal before I get Jet Jaguar but also after the review for Godzilla 2004 goes live. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get those donations going in. Oh, by the way, did I forget to mention, if you happen to donate any amount, any whatsoever, get a screenshot and send it on over to me by email, stephenstoysreviews at gmail.com, and go ahead and join the Discord, and guess what? You will get a role specifically and especially for donors who help out for any charity event. All right, that's gonna be it. I think everything is rather straightforward and to the point. Thank you so much for watching and let's try to do some good stuff for a guinea pig charity today. I think that we can really accomplish something really fun here. Again, we're looking to help out rodents from Ratzilla's uh, brother from another mother? I don't know. Does that work here? I don't know. It does. I'm trying to say something witty and funny. But anyway, that's the unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. I'm fiddling around with Godzilla as I'm recording this, and I'm noticing one bent dorsal plate that I did not catch before. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Yeah. And of course, thank you to the patrons who have helped out for this month. Your support is super duper awesomely appreciated. 
you really do make the world go round and supporting this channel. End card. Go check out other videos. Subscribe if you have not. He's standing on one foot with ease. That's really cool. Anyway, review soon. Thank you. And I'll catch you in the next one.